Hey everybody, welcome to the Rar Book Reviews. Today I have a book review on the Nine Lives of Chloe King. This is by Celia Thompson. Uh, this is Volume One, The Fallen, and it's getting re-released. And she changed her name to Liz Brazel, and it's getting re-released as the Nine Lives of Chloe King bind up. And um, I'm not gonna buy it because I read the first one. I'm really sorry. There's this fly in here. It's making me angry. And this book's about a girl named Chloe King. She's a regular teenage girl, you know, everything's fine. And she falls off this tower and dies. And then she comes back to life. And her friends are like, whoa, what the heck? And so, um, then um, m more into the book, she starts experiencing different things. She grows claws. She has supernatural abilities. She's experiencing things like as a cat would and um, there's this person who's after her and they want to kill her and she doesn't understand why and it sort of explains a little bit more but I'm going to leave it at that just in case you guys want to read it I only gave this 3 out of 5 because it was good until it got to the middle and then it just started getting really just draggy and boring to me but do not let me telling you that it was draggy stop you from reading this book. I noticed that a lot of people will put, oh, well, I wanted to read this book, but since you said you didn't like it, I might not want to read it. Do not think that. You'll never know if you'll ever like this book by what just I say. This is my review. So I really don't like when people do that because, you know, the whole experience of reading is just enjoying the story. So if I tell you that I don't like this story, don't let that affect how you want to read affect if you want to read the book or not just want to let you guys know that and also a couple of things about book reviews I feel that we are um, over dissecting books lately I feel that we're not enjoying the story anymore that people are just worrying about how well it's edited how well the characters are built how well um, just the style of the writing. To me, it's not re what reading is about. Reading, to me, is enjoying a story and enjoying the characters and everything. And I know people will say that, um, and of course, to enjoy a character, the character has to be built right. Yeah, but to me, it's just a story. So that's why I don't over-dissect and I don't dissect books. I review them and tell you whether I like them or not. You know what I mean? So if you expect me to over-dissect a book, I'm not going to do that. But this book was okay. So that was my review on The Nine Lives of Chloe King, Volume 1, The Fallen. Um, if you want to pick it up, pick it up. Or you can wait till the bind up comes out and then you have all three for the same price as you would get the first one. And um, this is actually coming out as a TV show on ABC Family in June right after Pretty Little Liars, which I'm now obsessed with. And. Um, I can't wait to see it, because I'm, I'm hoping the show, the show is probably going to be better, but um, I wanted to read the book, so, yeah, and then I looked online, and I think I'm the only one right now who's reviewing this book, so, I guess, no one's really reviewed it, but, yeah, so, that's, I just finished that, and then right now I started, well, last night I started Haven by Christy Cook, not that far in, but I think... I like it so far, but I'm not going to really say anything. But this is what I'm reading, so this will be my next review. Then I'm going to do another video this week on my most wanted books of 2011. And that's it. So I will see you guys next time with another video. Leave your comments, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.